Today we're going to be talking about light painting during night photography. And so we're going to show you how to do a fantastic image of uh, light painting using just your regular old DSLR camera. And uh, we are going to use a flashlight. This one's pretty bright. It's an LED flashlight. We're going to scout our subject. We're going to go out on location. We're going to find that subject. We're going to light paint that after the sun goes down, of course. And we're going to show you how to do this technique. It's very simple. You just need a few basic things, the camera, the flashlight, tripod to keep your image stable. And we'll go over the camera settings once we get out on location. But most important is that you're going to know how to light paint during night photography after you watch this video. So let's get started and we'll go over some of the equipment that we're gonna take out with us. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here we are with our equipment. We've got it all gathered together and ready to take out into the field with us. Go on location. What we have here is a Nikon D3200. That's actually going to be our backup camera. I have the luxury of having my wife's backup camera. I will be using a D7100 to actually do the light painting, but I'm videoing with it right now. So uh, This is going to be our LED flashlight. We have my camera bag with some extras in it, extra lens and batteries and whatnot you might need. My wife's camera bag, she has an extra lens there. We have two different kinds of tripods here. I'm going to show you. This is just a basic gorilla pod tripod. You don't need anything really fancy. If you have something like this for image stabilization, then that's all you really need. We just need something to where our image won't shake uh, when you push the shutter and so um, we'll get a lot of image vibration and blur if we don't have a tripod. So this re technique really is not possible without a tripod. So if you don't have a tripod like this, a bigger tripod, which basically is just a 20 year old tripod that I have, it's been around for a long time, and it just has the basic stunt on it, you know, there's nothing special about it. So um, basically if you just have this tripod here, you don't need this tripod, but you do need a tripod. So let's gather all this gear together and then we'll head out the door and we'll go to location. All right? Okay, now we're on location. We've driven out to my friend's farm here and we're going to set up the tripod and we're going to set up the camera. I'll go over the camera settings for you and we'll do some light painting in night photography, okay? I'm not going to go ahead and point it at the image now. I'm going to go over the camera settings. It's still light outside, so I'm not going to get set up for uh, photography yet. I'm going, to, I'm going to give it another couple of hours because we really want it really, really dark outside to light paint in night photography. You need a really dark sky, okay? And we're going to have the camera on manual, so you can control the aperture and the shutter speed, the white balance, and the ISO. Okay, and the other thing is we're going to have the camera on timer because what I want to do is push the shutter release button right here and then wait for the timer to actually control the shutter itself so that I'm not touching the camera and this will further give me some stabilization uh, when the image is processed with the camera um, you want that shutter to stay open long enough for you to light paint your subject 
and to capture that image. Okay, if you've got white balance settings for your camera, you want to do cloudy. If you can't, if you don't know how to control the white balance on your camera, just leave it on auto and let the camera do the work. Uh, it's a lot smarter than we are most of the time. So those are the settings, manual, timer, we're gonna set the ISO, the shutter speed, and the aperture, okay? Then we'll do some light painting in night photography. All right, we're gonna wait till it gets dark and we'll see you in just a bit. Okay, so we're back in the office and I pulled up the image in iPhoto and you can use something more complicated if you like. It's, this gives me basic controls over the image. The image is the night sky with beautiful stars in it and the foreground has our light painted subject which is the dead tree. There's a little light pollution over here. It's exactly why I told you we need a dark sky. And, and the camera settings for this, the ISO was set on 6400, the white balance was set at cloudy, the shutter speed was set for 15 second exposure, and the aperture was set at f11. So what you can do out in the field is play with those when you take images, look at them and see how you need to correct that or adjust it. Uh, what you can do now with the techniques that I've shown you how to do is go out in the field on your own and take uh, images like this with light painting and night photography. I'm Jeff Freshour. This has been another episode of So That's How That's Done. We'll see you next time, okay? You take care.